So in terms of like the benefits to answer the question of having a loping freestyle. What's going on swim fans? Coach Ferris here to answer your swimming questions. Evie has the first question, benefits of a loping freestyle. So if you're not familiar, the loping freestyle is kind of like a gallop where you have a little bit of an imbalance in your freestyle stroke. You can actually see this in every stroke, but it's most pronounced when you're watching elite level swimmers do freestyle. And you'll often see this in longer distance events. So you're not really gonna see this in the 50 freestyle. You're gonna see this like mismatch timing in the 100, 200, 400, and especially in the distance events. Basically what you're seeing is the swimmer is spending more time on one side compared to the other. And the reason why you might wanna consider doing this, the loping freestyle stroke, is because it helps you develop more rhythm when you're swimming. And if you think about it, if you're doing a longer distance like a 200, 400, 800, 1500, even in open water and triathlon, you wanna conserve your energy and you wanna develop a rhythm. So even though from an efficiency standpoint, it might not be the maximum potential, the maximum speed your body can produce because there's this imbalance. However, the imbalance is actually making you a little bit more efficient because you're developing this rhythm. And so it kinda looks like a lopsided stroke where you have a little bit of bias, but I always recommend to swimmers, it's actually more beneficial to breathe every two strokes or every four strokes because it gets you into that rhythm. Even if it means there's a slight imbalance in how much time you spend on one side compared to the other. So you might spend, you know, it might not be 50-50, it might be like 45-55. So if that makes sense, like think about it for percent time that you spend on each side of your stroke. So you're spending a little bit more time on the side that you're breathing. So you stick your hand in the water and you breathe and you might spend a little bit more time on that side or it could be on the opposite side. So there's two different ways you could have this loping freestyle. So in terms of like the benefit Benefits to answer the question of having a loping freestyle, it can actually conserve energy and build rhythm over a longer distance of time. I do not recommend a loping style stroke for anything 100 or less. You actually do see at the elite level in the 100, people do have a loping stroke, but that's really in the long course version of it. When you get to short course, like 25 yard, 25 meter, you wanna be as efficient as possible in synchronizing your stroke so that it's completely balanced, 50-50. I always recommend breathing every three strokes or every five strokes in like a warm-up set and that way your body is going to be as efficient as possible with like a 50 50 balance so that's some of the benefits of the loping freestyle thanks evie for asking that question next question comes from Earhart. is there an argument to use paddles while swimming the other three strokes or is it limited to freestyle great question you can use paddles for all the different strokes I will put some caveats to that and we'll talk about a few different ways that you can actually incorporate paddles into your training. So if you're not familiar, first of all, what are paddles? Paddles are these pieces of plastic. Uh, they can be rubber, they can actually be gloves too, that actually increase the surface area of which you can pull. So they make your hand actually bigger. Now there are anti-paddles, which actually make you feel like you're swimming with a fist and they actually shrink the size of your hand. But for the most part, paddles are designed to actually increase the amount of surface area that you have to pull with. So it's kind of like resistance in the water. So there are a lot of benefits of this obviously you can build strength and power and build your just overall swimming capacity my favorite benefit of the paddle is actually to improve your feel of the water because what you're doing when you put that extra resistance on your hand you're actually increasing the surface area at the highest leverage point so I always talk about on the channel early vertical farm EVF and what this means is you're actually increasing the amount of surface area through your forearm. So when you're pulling water, you're actually gonna use your forearm and your hand. When you put the extra resistance on your hand, it almost forces you to put your hand in that high elbow catch position. And so there's different sizes of paddles. So I always recommend for swimmers that they start with a smaller paddle that might only be a little bit bigger than the size of your hand just to get the feel for it. There are also these things called fingertip paddles, which I personally really like to use, where they only cover the top part of your hand. So it puts the pressure right on your fingertips and allows you to pop your elbow up a lot earlier and a lot easier in the stroke. And as you get stronger, what you'll do is you'll actually increase the size of your paddle. It'll actually slow down your tempo but you're gonna pull more water per stroke. And like I mentioned, there's the benefit of, of course, increasing your resistance and power and strength, but also you can just improve your overall capacity in the water. So in terms of answering the question, can you swim the other strokes? You can, and the same rule applies. So you wanna start out very small. Now keep in mind, freestyle is probably the easiest stroke to have an uninterrupted mechanics when you add paddles. So when you add paddles for like, 
breaststroke or even butterfly, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to maintain the mechanics of the stroke because you have all this extra resistance. And the short axis strokes like breaststroke and butterfly, you're moving slower anyway, and you it's a much more difficult stroke in the first place. So even if you might be able to scale the size of your paddle in freestyle, you might not be able to do the same thing in butterfly or breaststroke. And if you guys have done butterfly with paddles before, you know how difficult it is and how much stress that can put on your body. So I do not recommend swimming with paddles. If you're a beginner in the other strokes, start out with a smaller paddle for freestyle. Maybe it's those fingertip paddles and then work your way up and then eventually you can add in to the other strokes, but you've got to start small. So I highly recommend the fingertip paddles if you're an intermediate or advanced swimmer when you're swimming the other strokes. You can swim all the strokes, uh, but just make sure you keep in mind that as you increase the resistance, it's actually going to make it a lot more difficult to maintain the mechanics. In other words, the stroke technique of the actual stroke. So be careful and, and take care of your mechanics first so that way you don't put excess stress on your shoulders. Now if you use the MySwim Pro app, you're actually gonna have a lot of workouts that incorporate equipment, whether it's fins or paddles, and you can actually turn that on or off. So if you do have equipment, you'll see it in the workout and the intervals and all the training is personalized to you. So depending on what your goal is and how fast you're trying to swim and if you're trying to improve your technique, endurance, speed, the workouts are 100% personalized to you. So if you haven't already checked out the MySwim Pro app, make sure you check it out. And if you want your question answered in this Q&A format, go ahead and leave them down below. We're gonna do our best. We have the main channel on MySwim Pro YouTube, and of course the second channel where we're doing this Q&A. So I'd love to see from you guys. And also make sure you subscribe to our Facebook group, the biggest digital swimming community in the world. Make sure you check it out, link down below. I'm in there, I answer your questions in there as well. Let me know what you have down below, and I'll see you guys later. Happy swimming, bye.